Hey, what's going on everybody? Louie here, and today I thought I would provide you with an inside look at the Commuter Sling Bag by Vertex. Let's take a look at the features that the bag has to offer and how I personally set it up. Alright guys, so before we get into the inside parts of the bag, uh, just to go over some dimensions first. This is going to come in at 18 inches high, it's going to come in at 13 inches wide, and it's going to come in at, at 6 inches deep. Okay. You'll see, you'll notice here on the outside, there's uh, extra hook and loop. You'll, you'll notice here that um, this, these two panels here, these two sections here, I actually had um, additional hook and loop put onto the bag. Um, so these bags do not come with hook and loop up here in those sections at all. That said, um, let's, get into, uh, let's get into some of the other specifics of the bag. Um, I think the first thing that I really like is that this very first section here offers a quick quick pull tab. Um, I don't have much going on in this particular section here. Um, I usually will use this for uh, for an extra stash um, stash area if I need to put a jacket, um, miscellaneous items. Again, yeah, I got kids, so you never know when I need to throw something in there. So this this bag will come with uh, with these extra. Um, hook sections whereby you can hook this up and uh, and use this use this bag as, a, as an extra stash um, a stash area so that's what I have this pretty much set up for all of this hook and loop section in here you can put uh, additional patches you could put other pouches things of that nature in here um, so again um, it's a pretty cool little section all right next I think what I also like about this bag is it's got this integrated carry handle. So you can grab this bag, move it, throw it, toss it accordingly. Um, being able to grab that bag in a, in a, quick, in a quick, um, uh, quick fashion, throw it on your car, uh, throw it in your car seat, throw it wherever, um, I, I, think it, I think it's great as opposed to having to constantly grab a handle. Um, so that's a cool feature that this has. The first compartment here. So this is more of the admin admin panel, if you will. Um, so this is pretty much how I have this set up. Um, so going into this pocket first, again, this is uh, actually, yeah, let me kind of go into this pocket first. So a couple things I keep in here. So I just keep my right in the rain pad, and then I keep my wallet. No, uh, no big deal there. Now what's cool about this is that this is all, again, hook and loop material, so you could attach other pouches, more morale patches, whatever the case may be, and the same thing down here. You could put pouches, you could put patches, you could put whatever you want. Um, if you want to attach magazine, um, uh, magazine holsters, uh, uh, whatever, you know, whatever the case may be, anything hook and loop, you're good to go. Um, so here you got the admin panel. So I've got a couple of different items here. I think as far as as far as the size of these of these um, compartments are concerned, I think it's fine. I mean, I keep a multi tool in here, um, a couple of pens, marker, what have you. Um, I, I would say that this over here is the largest of the of of these several um, options here. And so this is the uh, this is the PM3, um, just to kind of give you like a size reference for for this particular. Um, this particular opening here. Um, I also have on me, let's see, what do I have on me? I've got the, uh, I got the, uh, the this is the, uh, the Manix 2. So just for size comparison, you can see obviously the Manix 2 is going to be a, a bit on the larger side. That will also fit in that, uh, in that compartment there. So that's, uh, that's definitely good to go. All right. Um, all right, so that's pretty much that for, uh, for that other, that other section. Going into the larger section here. So I like to keep my things nice and orderly, um, and, and compartmentalized. It helps me find things and grab things faster and easier. So here's my, uh, here's my medical kit, um, full boo-boo kit, et cetera, et cetera, inside here. So I keep that. This kit, by the way, is from um, uh, ITS. Again, this pouch um, through Grey Ghost Gear. I keep a variety of other miscellaneous things in here, uh, medication type of things such as uh, you know anti-inflammatories and um, 
uh, Advil, Aleve, phone chargers, a variety of miscellaneous things in, in addition to first aid. <clears throat> and then I've got my RZ mask um, and, uh, and, that, and that whole thing set up. <clears throat> this bag also offers a nice little, um, nice little pouch here, a little compartment. And I just dash again, some more miscellaneous things. Anyhow, um, all right, so in this pouch, I got some quick clot, some burn gel, and a hyphen vent. So again, these, these, pou these, these little pockets here um, are on the rather si sizable side. So you could definitely go ahead and fit whatever it is that you need in there, whether it be phone chargers or cables or um, portable chargers, etc., etc. So there is all of those um, options for, for, the, for the size panel that, uh, that, that, that's got going on. Also, part of this bag, <clears throat> I think what's great is is that if you need to cinch some some things down, this bag will offer this particular capability where you can cinch down a laptop, you could cinch down some other items. So um, this bag will hold a 15 inch laptop if you wish to put that in here. Um, I personally don't utilize uh, a laptop to carry around. Um, if anything, I'd use a tablet and throw it in here. Um, I will say that if I was to use a tablet to, to put that in here um, with my other gear that's got that's in here it, it, it is kind of on the um, uh, on the full side if you will so um, so just kind of keep that a little bit in mind as, as, as it relates to your personal setup uh, yeah you can get a lot of stuff in here but you don't want to just you're not going to be able to jam pack too much stuff it's, it's gonna it, it will it will be um, will be a little bit on the cumbersome side again I don't think that this sling bag was really designed for um, the carrying of, of a tremendous amount of gear. Um, I think it's really designed for a couple of quick items that you're going to need in, in, during a short period of time. <clears throat> also part of this bag, there's a, there's a back panel here. Um, now this, this particular panel, look, you, you know, look, this is, this is obviously the part of the frame of, of this particular pack. You can replace this with any type of, um, with any type of, uh, armor panels and things of that nature. So you could go ahead and do that. <clears throat> um, this does have hook and loop material all back here. So again, if you didn't want to have pouches or you wanted to have, um, different, um, different hook and loop type of material, <clears throat> there's a variety of things that Vertex makes, other companies make as well, attach it to the back. And, uh, and again, you're good to go. Another cool feature about this bag is this back panel here where again this is all hook and loop material you can go ahead and put another um, you can go ahead and put another panel if you wish in the back here and so uh, and when I say panel I mean uh, like an armor panel you can put an armor panel here you can this is obviously made really for concealed carry so with all this hook and loop you can attach magazines firearms etc whatever whatever it is that you need to flashlights what have you um you can attach all of that in that hook and loop uh section right there i think and, and again another great feature about this bag is is this side pull handle so Let's uh, let's take a look and, and see what this looks like on me. Kind of giving you a little bit of a showcase of of the size against against my body and um, and, uh, and 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 again some of the grab handle features and so on. All right, guys. So here's the setup as it relates to what it looks like on me. Um, you can see, you know, it, it rides pretty well. Um, I think what I do like about it is is that there's not a space at the top here. Um, like other sling bags, so like, I think that's that's definitely a key feature in in the way that these guys design this bag. Um, <clears throat> just a couple other quick mentions on this. This particular sling bag does come with a um, with a clip, a uh, side clip here that you would actually affix to the bottom here and to here, and affix it to kind of keep that bag a little bit more sturdy from from kind of moving about. Um, I don't operate like that. I don't use it. Uh, look, I don't want to offend anybody. I think I think it's silly. I'm no, never going to use it. I've taken it off. So uh, obviously, I'm not sh showing it here in the video. But I will share that obviously it does come with this particular bag. Um, as far as like the slinging factor, you can grab this grab this handle to the side uh, on the side here to then access your your panels accordingly. 
or your uh, your compartments accordingly. <clears throat> so whether that be um, again this this piece, my admin panel, and I like that about about this particular bag and this slim bag. It is a rugged, durable bag. Um, Again, you know, uh, using utilizing it for uh, as as long as I have, I've never had any issues with it. It's uh, the material itself is great. Um, again, so you'll see that that quick, that quick deployment. Now, as far as those of you that are planning to carry a firearm concealed in your bag, um, that's pretty much one of the major features and why this bag. Um, um, I shouldn't say why it was. It, it, was, uh, it was created, but it, it's definitely a major feature for the concealed carry community. Um, being able to come in here in a rapid deployment um, is a, one of the most important features of this bag, in my opinion. Now, if you want my other opinion, I'll give it to you. Um, here's the deal. I'm not a big fan of off-body concealed carry. If I'm going to conceal carry, I'm going to conceal carry on my person itself, not necessarily on my bag. If I need to put my bag down, whatever the case may be, I don't want to be separated from my firearm. Now that's a whole nother concept or, or a whole nother topic. I'm not going to get into that here. But so for me, I'm just kind of showcasing and sharing my thoughts and opinions on it. But for those of you who do want to have that type of scenario, you're able to do so and utilize this bag accordingly, which is not a bad deal. Again, I think what's also cool about it, and what I kind of shared before, is that if you do have um, a panel on the inside as far as a... Uh, an armor panel and a, and, a, and a lightweight armor panel here, I mean, you, this bag is going to offer you a pretty good amount of protection um, if, and in, in, God forbid, you're in a situation where you need to engage um, and keep yourself protected. So this does offer some really cool features like that. I think one other feature that I should mention is that this particular bag does have a carry handle if you will it's sort of a carry handle or a or a luggage uh, luggage uh, luggage handle um, right here in the back so a couple things number one again I had as I had indicated before if there was in fact um, uh, armor panels in here you can utilize this in a shield type of capacity whereby you can hold this again with your firearm doing what you need to do to protect yourself and um, and those around you Additionally, if you were in the traveling in the traveling mode, you can take this, slide this over the rail of your luggage, wheel it through the airport wherever you need to go, um, and so you don't have to have it necessarily on, on your on your shoulders. So it's a nice extra little feature that uh, that this bag does have to offer. All right, guys. So there is the Vertex Commuter Sling Bag. Um, just two quick criticisms. Number one. Um, hook and loop on the outside of the bag. I wish that Vertex offered more hook and loop. Um, as I mentioned earlier in the video, I put in these two panels myself. Um, uh, so I, I wish that Vertex actually offered those types of options. I know why they do what they do. Uh, they didn't want to have their bags having that tactical look and that whole having that whole gray man concept. I get it and support it, but nonetheless, um, the hook and loop is my preference. Secondly, on um, the admin compartment itself, um, I, I wish that there was more options for pockets for pens, knives, multi-tools, etc. I think that that would be, um, that would be a, a home run right, right there. Overall, I think this is a great bag. It's, it's rugged, it's durable, it's got great material, great uh, zipper pulls, which is important. And one other major piece of importance is the comfortability and how the bag rides. Um, whether it be a backpack or a sling bag, I think it's important that that bag sits comfortably. And especially with the fact that, that this being a sling bag, it, sit, it sits and fits great and feels comfortable. That's a home run right there. So that all said, I'm going to personally give this bag my no-nonsense stamp of approval. So... If you are in the market for sling bags, things of that nature, check these guys out over at Vertex. They offer a great line of products. They offer a variety of different colors for, for 2020. I'm going to go ahead and make sure I put a, a link in my description below, so, so check it out. As always, thanks for stopping by and watching my videos. Please check out my others on my channel, No Nonsense EDC. Like, subscribe, tell your friends. I'll see you guys next time.